Well, hello there, friends. I know you've heard of uh, Dr. Orange. You certainly have he heard of Orange Chicken. Have you ever heard of Poulet à l'Orange? French chicken with an orange sauce. <laughs> You're gonna love it, it's amazing. I'm making a sauce the classic way with a gastrique where the vinegar and the sugar balance each other. The sauce is amazing, good enough to rub all over your body. Friends, you're gonna love this dish, it's delicious. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And stay tuned, we're making chicken à l'orange. Okay, friends, I will show you how to make this uh, poulet à l'orange, <laughs> chicken à l'orange, Ch orange chicken. Okay, <laughs> very simple, friends. Um, you know, is the uh, orange chicken, the, uh, the Chinese style, a lot of great recipe out there. Fried chicken with orange sauce. Uh, fabulous, there's a lot of them. But I'm French and Italian, so I'm not gonna make that. <laughs> I'm gonna make chicken à l'orange. My friends, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a uh, gastric uh, sweet and sour sauce. French people are going to come up with a, uh, a term that uh, is only for that. Uh, uh, agredu in French, agredu. And uh, it's uh, gastric, which is a, a sweet and sour balance. So sugar and sour. And in this case, we're going to have sugar and uh, vinegar. And those two are going to balance each other. And you know, this is the base for many, many sauces, many fruit sauces. It just happened then to be an orange sauce, but any fruit sauce, you should do that at the beginning. So it balances that. And it's really important to have the sweet and the sour. It's like a je ne sais quoi, where you have it in your mouth, you don't realize it, then the sweet is not sugary and the sour is not sour, or the vinegar is not sour. So I got red wine vinegar. I don't use it often but I'm going to use it in a minute. We're going to keep an eye on the, on the sugar. Sugar doesn't have anything on it. So it's going to caramelize pretty fast. Uh, I don't want it to be uh, uh, too fast, but I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. And I'm also going to saute a breast of chicken. I'm going to do it in um, a clarified butter, my friends. And my clarified butter, I forgot it over there. Somebody's going to give me my clarified butter, please, because I forgot. And um, we're going to keep an eye on the sugar in the meantime because I did forget my clarified butter. And uh, now why am I using clarified butter, friends? Make sure everything is good here. Very good. Clarified butter. Now, <laughs> the reason why I'm using clarified butter, my friends, is because if I use regular butter, it would burn. Remember that, friends. Whole butter has milk. Milk protein burn at 250 degrees. So we don't want that. So that's why we're using clarified butter. If you don't have clarified butter, you use a regular cooking oil and it'd be perfectly fine. The smoke point of clarified butter is pretty high, 350, 400. So I'm gonna get to it, I'm gonna get my chicken. You know, I don't like to keep anything, chicken, poultry, anything at, the, at room temperature too long. So I take it, I see the sugar is starting to melt. We're gonna put salt and pepper. Now you notice I have a stainless steel pan, it's not a non-stick fry pan. And uh, so people say, well, when I use a non-stick, uh, a stainless steel fry pan instead of a non-stick, it sticks. Yeah, it sticks. I'm gonna show you how not to make it stick. <laughs> All right, so we wanna make sure we're at the right temperature, and if you have clarified butter of a good cooking oil, you can go to 350, 365. And when you're gonna put the, the chicken, the, whatever it is you're cooking and you don't want it to stick, fish is certainly, one of the most important one. Uh, so the digital thermometer, for instance. This is great. I use it when I go out in clubs at night. <laughs> uh, only kidding. Look, look, see, see, look at the sugar, friends. See right here? The sugar is starting to turn. You gotta keep an eye on it. Make sure when you do this, you keep an eye on this, you keep an eye on this, <laughs> keep an eye on everything. All right, so look, we're gonna take the chicken now, friends, and we're gonna put it in. It's just one big chicken breast. That's enough for two, for two, two serving here. You put it in a pan away from you, and when you put it in a pan, you shake it, see, just shake it, just like this, and it's not gonna stick. That's all, that's what gonna do is just shake it. You see any restaurant chef, in a restaurant, that's what they do, they put it in, let me wash my hand real quick, and um, they, they just shake it like this. See, look at the sugar, see the sugar? 
Sugar is excited over there. He's all excited. We're going to reduce the heat. Shake the pan. Let's make sure we don't... Uh, we keep melting the sugar. You see right there, friends? We want a nice caramelization. And we're going to put red wine vinegar. Now, be careful when you do this, okay? Make sure the kids are not here. Cause you see? Some of the sugar is going to get hard, but don't worry. Don't worry about it. We're going to mix it up. Nothing to worry about. We're going to get a whisk. And we're going to melt it. See it right there. That's it, friends. All right? So far, so good. Pretty simple, right? Whoo, don't smell this. Whew. You want to clean your nostril, you smell it. Otherwise, don't smell it. <laughs> and then we're going to see how we're doing here. We're doing good. Now, we're going to put salt and pepper in here on this side. There's so many things going on over there, friends. Very important that we reduce this correctly. Let it get all the acidity out. <laughs> and um, and then we're going to put some orange juice on top of that, my friends. Keep an eye on the chicken, eh? Don't let it burn. Um, we got some uh, orange juice. You're going to say, wow, that's a big orange. Look, I used the blood orange. Um, I had a few blood orange I used, so it's going to be dark, and we're going to put this in the sauce, and we're going to let it reduce. If you don't have blood orange, just use regular orange. And we also want to put some zest of oranges. And uh, let me make sure my chicken is good, my friend. Because, uh, yeah, it's still good. All right. We're going to put it on the side. We're going to cook it in the oven. You see the way it's plumping up? Plumping up. Is that a new culinary term? <laughs> I tell you. Look, guys. Um, I'm going to cut. I use this tool right there. It's got five little holes in there. And you, if you go really hard, you see, you get some, uh, some nice strips. Right? And then we're going to put them in a the sauce. The classical way is you got to put them in water. And you got to let them... Uh, uh, get less bitter if you put them in water or sugar water. I put them in a sauce. It's perfect. It works. Save a step. If you don't have one of those tools, friends, I know you got one of those, right? Vegetable peeler. So you peel. Don't go too deep. Don't go too deep. Because if you go too deep, you're going to get too much of the white. And if you get too much of the white, you take your knife. Let me make sure I got nothing in the way here. Let me check the chicken first. There you go, look. It looks beautiful, right? So now, we flip it on the other side. What do we do? Shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And then we're going to pop it in the oven. I got an oven at 375 degrees. Okay, you ready? Here you go. In the oven. How long is it going to take? Maybe um, 12, 13, 15 minutes. Depends how thick it is. Let's see how we're doing here. Let me go over there. Okay, so this is nice. Let it reduce just a little bit more, and then we're going to put the orange juice. So look, if you took too much of the white, you want to take your knife, and you want to scrape it a little bit. You don't have to. I'm just like being anal, okay? It's just a little bitter, right? And then what do you do with it? You take your knife, and you cut very thin, long julienne. And this, my friend, is mostly for decoration, Okay? So you have it right there, you see? Long strips, except this guy is, is don't, don't qualify, you know, too thick. All right? When, when it doesn't smell too much anymore, you take your uh, orange zest, and you can put lemon also too. Put it right in there. Take your orange juice, I got right there, exactly three quarter cup of orange juice. By the way, that was a half a cup of sugar and a half a cup of vinegar. I'm gonna let this way. I'm gonna let this reduce. I'm gonna let this reduce, reduce, reduce. And then when we have the nice consistency, we are good to go. All right, friends. I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna finish the rest of it. I'm gonna make a nice vegetables, and uh, and the chicken is gonna come out. We're gonna finish the sauce, and we'll be all ready to go. Okay. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, friends, chicken is still in the oven. We're going to take it about two minutes. The sauce is reducing, you see? And we're going to finish it up with butter. Oh, salt and pepper, mamma mia. Salt and pepper. And then we're going to put some uh, uh, butter at the end to finish it up to make it nice and beautiful. All right? 
So, I got right there, I'm going to serve this with barley. Barley. You know, a lot of people don't make barley. Barley is very cool, friends. You can buy the pre-cooked barley or not the pre-cooked barley. See, the non-pre-cooked? Uh, it takes about, um, I don't know, 35, 40 minutes. Just put it in the water. Don't worry about it. Don't listen to the recipe they give you in a box telling you. This pre-cooked uh, barley, then only takes five minutes. But the, the, the one that's not pre-cooked could take 30 to 45 minutes. All right? And you boil it in water. And when it's cooked to your liking, you take it out. See, look. Take it out. And you know what I do? I take it out, put a little bit of olive oil in it, keep it on the side. And when I'm ready, here's what I do with it. I put a little butter, right? Just a little butter right there. I'm going to saute some, uh, some onion and, uh, and, and, uh, and, um, and, uh, and uh, a red onion. You're going to saute it just for a second or two. Then I'm going to put some uh, dice of red bell peppers. So onion, dice red bell peppers. And then look what I did, friends. I did some broccoli. And I did the little floret of the broccoli. And how you do that, you follow the, if you haven't seen the, the video that I do on how to cut all the vegetables, remember when you cut broccoli, you don't cut it from the top. Like you see so many people just cutting the broccoli. You don't do that. You go underneath and you cut the floret. Underneath and then you get little, beautiful little floret. You see, they're not cut. You see, friends? And then it's wonderful to do. So, it's a lucky, you could do pasta, you could do, I'm, I'm doing the, um, uh, I'm doing a, um, um, a, a, a grain, but you could do pasta, you could do rice, you could do whatever you want, okay? And then we're gonna put the broccoli with it. So it'll be a nice way to serve some vegetables. Uh, uh, wild rice is also very nice uh, for, this, for this recipe, yeah? So we're gonna take the chicken out of there. And we're going to put it, uh, how about if I put it right there? Doesn't matter, but don't forget, keep a towel on it, friends, because you remember it's hot, right? But you're, uh, the person coming after you may not remember. we got to let it rest, right? I, I was thinking it's enough for two serving, but it kind of shrink a little bit. So it's uh, two very small serving and one nice serving. <laughs> I know one is happy right there. So look, guys, I got little bell peppers in there. This is just today, you know, you can do whatever you want. That doesn't really matter. This is not that big of a deal here, friend. It's important that we let the chicken rest, though, so that we don't lose all of the juice. The same thing with any meat. You do the same, right? So you take a little bit of the, uh, I probably have too much. This is one cup that I have right here. It probably was too much of the, uh, of the grain, right? Just, it's just a quick little serving. You know, it's fun. Put some salt and pepper in there. This is a, a nice side. Sometimes we wonder what to do for side, you know, you don't always want to do the same thing. And then obviously I have a whole head of broccoli, it's probably a little too much in here. And we're going to put this in here just like that, that's all, just the fun. There's enough for, there's enough for three or four serving. You see, so all of a sudden you got an interesting little pasta, a little grain. Uh, and if you've never tried a, a, a barley, put a little butter in it. <laughs> Whenever you put butter in something, you know it's going to be good, right? And just let it melt like that. And let me tell you, it's going to be delicious. Like I say, rice is cool. Pasta is cool. But a grain is really nice. Really, really nice. Nothing wrong with that. The sauce is looking very good, my friends. We are now going to bring it to boil. We're going to take the chicken. We're going to slice it. And here's what we're going to do, friends. Because we still got... It's still a little uh, liquid. I want it to be a little thicker before I add my butter. Here's what I'm gonna do, okay? Because you know there's a lot of goody on there, so bear with me one second while I organize myself. I'm gonna take the chicken, I'm gonna put it right here. And uh, I don't have a container. Yes, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I wanna get rid of that extra butter right there because I'm going to put whole butter, right? But now, there's nothing wrong with this, really. It's just clarified butter, right? But you know what I want to do? I got a little Grand Marnier. You can skip that for those of you that don't drink alcohol. You know, uh, this is just extra. Just a little Grand Marnier. And then what we're going to do, we're going to clean up this pan right there, friend. Because this is good right there. It's all good. Oh, it smells amazing. <laughs> Go on, my knee, the minute you hit the alcohol. Oh. Right there, friends. Keep this in here. Keep that towel in there. I got plenty of other towel. 
All right, we're looking good. Very simple, eh? Let's finish the sauce. Turn the heat up. Turn the heat up. Put everything in here like this. And now, my friends, <laughs> the moment we've been waiting for. Hey, you, you're done. Talking to my barley. You're done. <laughs> Put a little butter in there. Yes. Butter. Look, 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 look. Look at these friends. Make sure the heat is off when you do this, eh? When you put the butter, you gotta have the heat off, otherwise the butter separate, friends. <laughs> Let me see, friends. This is a sauce you rub all over your body. Look at this, look at this. Let me put in a little more butter, eh? You know, when you cook with people that are squeamish about butter, um, just tell them, go over there and go set up some table or something. Put a butter in there, they don't know. <laughs> look at this. Look at this thing. I'll show you, I'll show you. This is what it's all about. Look at this, friends. Look at this. Is that a beauty or what? When I tell you you can rub that all over your body, I'm not kidding. But just wait until it's not so hot. Not so hot. Here you go. You look, look, look. <laughs> That's delicious. You tested the caramel, the orange, and you know what? You also tested a little Grand Marnier in there. Something you don't expect if you're gonna have the chicken dish. Am I right or not? You don't expect Grand Marnier. It's the unexpected. Look at this. It's fabulous. And you see now, all of a sudden we got this, it's beautiful. Let's take the chicken, let's cut the chicken, please. Let's take a slicer here. And uh, I want to take the chicken. You know what? I'm going to clean my cutting board because I hate to have a dirty cutting board. And I hate the rag over there, too. <laughs> there you go. Put it over there. Put it over there. There you go. So now what we want to do, we want to be somewhat elegant, friends. We're going to slice it thin, you see? And you see, you don't cook it too much, okay? You cook it just enough. And, and what's the right temperature to cook it at? 155, 165, okay? So you got, you got the window over there, my friends. You see, look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Look at this, you see? Now all of a sudden, friends, we got an elegant chicken dish that only took literally minutes. You know what we could do? We could, uh, we could make a nice, we could take a, uh, a cookie cutter, depends how much we want to give them, right? Take a cookie cutter right there, take a spoon, right? Or we can just plop it on the plate, okay? All right, but why don't we try to be a little bit elegant right there, my friends? Right? It's a, you know, it doesn't take longer. It really doesn't take much longer to do that. I, right. mama mia, look at me. I'm putting some everywhere. Ay, 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 ay. Sometimes I wonder. I wonder about me. I do, I do, I do. Look at this. Look at it. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. I had a tongue. I had a tongue once upon a time. <laughs> you know I'm going to have to fix it, right? Because I can't handle it if it's not perfect. Okay, you got the idea, right? Except you, you're lucky because you don't have a camera running. And you can take all the time in the world. Me? No, no. I got to fix them just like this, right? Right? You pack it in a little bit before you take it out, friends. Because if you try to take it out now, the chances are you're going to... Ooh, it's hot. Wow. So it looks a little more elegant, right? Yeah, yeah. I didn't pack it in enough. When you do this, pack it in, pack it in, right? Take your chicken. Put it right there. Right there. Look, look, look. Right there, my friends. Right? 
right there. And now, my friends, the sauce. All right, you ready? You ready, my friends? Let me get over there. Whoa, that sauce gets better looking. Here you go, here you go. You know, I'm not going to mess up the whole chicken. I'm just going to put a little bit of it, okay? And uh, you could certainly put it in the front right there so you don't mess up nothing, right? Or you could put it on top of it, however you want to do it, friends. It's really up to you. But look at this. Is that gorgeous or what? Well, you can take just a little bit and you can put it right there on top. Just a little bit. I say a little bit and all of a sudden I'm putting a lot. And then you can take a, a little bit of the orange zest right there and just put them in here like this, my friends, and organize it. All right, you can take your time to do it better. I'm obviously in a rush. I'm not taking my time to do it perfect, but you got the idea. All of a sudden, friends, we took an all round chicken and we gave it a French twist. Let me try it, let me try it. Let me try, my friends. You can do this easily, right? You saw, it's not that complicated what I did, eh? Everybody can do that, all right? Am I right or not? I am, ooh, come. Come over here. Look at this. Look at this, friends. Look at this. Look at that sauce, friends. Just dig the sauce in there. Oh. That's amazing. All of the flavor are there. And look at that sauce. That sauce is like, you can see, you can rub it on your body. This is like, mm. The mouth feel on this sauce is sexy. Friends. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had fun making it for you. Remember, thumbs up. Thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next few days with another fantastic video.